we're going to be learning about how addition and multiplication are related to each other. They have a relation. This is lesson 12.2. Before we get started, I want to show you this. We have a multiplication problem right here at the top. And when we add two numbers together, those are the add-ins, right? Well, in multiplication, the two numbers we multiply are called factors. And the answer is called the product. This says 2 times 3 is equal to 6. It means 2 times we have a 3. See that? There's 2 times that we have a 3 in a group. Okay? So addition and multiplication are related to each other. 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 6. The number of groups is 3, and how many in each group is 2. See that? And we can add or multiply equal groups. Multiply means we find how many are in equal groups in all. It's the opposite of division. And we'll talk more about division farther on in the chapter, okay? But it is the opposite of multiplication, and multiplication is the opposite of division. They're the opposites of each other. Well, we can add and then multiply. Here I've got some pretty blue gems. There's 5 here and there's 5 here. If we add 5 plus 5, it will equal 10, won't it? We'll have 10 gems. We also have two groups. That's the number of groups and that's how many are in each group. We have two groups of five. We have two times five. We have fives two times. See that? And two times five is equal to ten. See how we can do addition or multiplication and get the same answer? It's just how many are in the group. See? We have two groups. Let's try it again. Here we have these pretty green gems. We have 3 plus 3 plus 3, and if we add 3 plus 3 plus 3, we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we can multiply three groups of 3 in each group. We have three groups, that's this number, times how many are in each group. There's three of them, and 3 times 3 is 9. Addition is related to multiplication. See? All multiplication is is repeated addition. All right? Let's try this one. We have five gems and five gems and five gems. And five plus five plus five. We can count by fives, can't we? Skip count. Five, ten, fifteen. There's fifteen colorful gems. There's three groups with five in each group. There's three groups, one group, two group, three groups, and there's five in each group, and that equals 15. Take a look at this one. We just have a one and a one and a one. Well, one plus one plus one is easy. That's three, isn't it? We have three groups with one in each group. A one and a one and a one, and that equals three. Three times one equals three. All right? Let's try some critical thinking. It says to complete each number sentence. So our little fishy is telling us for the first one, for addition, we need how many plus how many. And for this one, for multiplication, we need to put the number of groups times the number in each group, okay? So let's do how many plus how many. We have four here plus another four. And four plus four is, you know, this one, don't you? And it's a double. It's eight. Now we can write the multiplication. It's the number of groups. How many groups do we have here? We have one, two groups, right? And then this line is the number in each group. There's four in each group. Two times four is equal to eight. 
Let's try another one. Look at these groups. How many are here? We have two. And here is two. And here, two more. And two more. And two more. See? We can skip count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We have ten little blue squares. Here, we write how many groups we have. We have one, two, three, four, five groups. And how many are in each group? Two. Five times two is equal to ten. Okay? So remember, this is the groups. And this is how many are in the group. Okay? All right? And then that's the product. That's what it equals. Okay? We're going to continue on talking about multiplication and addition. And we're going to talk about how we can use an array to help us with multiplication. Okay? If this was helpful, hit the like button. And I hope I'll see you at the next video. Bye.